What's up guys, Together Rampage here. So today we have new Funko announcements, restocks, and updates. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So as said last week, it does look like Wednesday drops are back and we have so much fun stuff to go over today. And that includes some new stuff from anime, Marvel, Disney, Star Wars, and more. Now, before we jump into all that, we do actually have a quick video sponsor and that is Drip Shop Live. If you haven't heard of Drip Shop Live, they are a live auction app and website where you can buy and sell your favorite collectibles. That does include Funko Pops, trading cards, video games, and more. There is also a marketplace where you can search for your favorite collectibles and not only that I want to let you guys know that I'm actually having another stream this Saturday March 16th at 6 p.m. EST and I'm gonna be giving away over a thousand dollars worth of stuff so make sure to use my link down below to sign up with drip shop live and that'll get you a free $15 off your first purchase and of course while you're on the app bookmark the stream because I would love to see you there and I hope you can win something fun alrighty so let's go ahead and jump into the news so let's start off with the Funko shop here lots of new things over there firstly here in their new in stock section lots of new pops did drop, including the Funko Shop exclusive drop today, which was Isabella with the cactus. We also had other fun exclusives like the Diamond Winnie the Pooh with Honey Pot, as well as a couple Baseball Pops and Echo Pops. And on this next page, lots of new anime exclusives and commons are now in stock, like Ochako, Asta, Naruto Sage Mode, we also had Gother, the Diamond Collection one, and Vash, the Stampede. And a couple other things included the FNAF plushies, as well as the Pop and Tea for the Flash. So a very interesting one here is that GameStop Naruto. Of course, these days nothing's really vaulted with Funko anymore it's a sad thing to see but at this point complaining about it does nothing but it is definitely a little bit of a bummer now aside from that over on the Funko shop this one's an interesting listing because it could come with the new GameStop sticker or the special edition sticker so that means they have both stock available and it's kind of hit or miss on the order so if you want to risk it and you want to order one on the Funko shop, you can. Just be aware of the fact that you could get either of those stickers. You're not going to get the original GameStop one. Moving on, I did want to let you guys know that Funko has a new Loungefly collection called The Collective here. So this does include a Loki and Star Wars Rebels Alliance collab here. And just a couple days ago, if you missed some of my reels or shorts here on YouTube, they actually sent me one of the bags early to kind of show off. And it's a really cool bag, very, very nice quality, as well as it's a fun little traveler's bag that you can fit a bunch of stuff in. And they even gave me a t-shirt. So if you were interested in that new Lounge Fly Collection collab, I'll have a link down below for you guys. It's actually pretty cool. Next, we do have a quick update on the new One Piece wave here. So all of these pops, including the common variation of Yamato there, are now shipping out from Entertainment Earth. So if you do have an order with them, make sure to check your orders, check your emails, because all of the commons and the exclusive variation Glow Yamato should be shipping now. And over the last week, you probably have seen your local box lunch and Hot Topic stores getting in the commons, as well as those new Luffy Gear 5 chases. And if you haven't been to your local box lunches or Hot Topics and you don't follow them on Instagram, I encourage that you do because they do usually post when they get the stock and new stuff in. Now the question I've been getting a lot in the last week as well is where are my pre-orders? Why are they not shipping? So Entertainment Earth, a place like this or Hot Topic or Box Lunch, they're a little bit higher on the food chain in terms of like shipping from Funko. So they get their stuff a little bit earlier normally. And places like Chow's Collectibles, et cetera, et cetera, are a little bit smaller, so they get their stock last. Now I did actually reach out to Chalice on you guys' behalf, asking them if there was any update as to when their pre-orders would ship. And they were saying around April. So my best guess with that would be that they'll probably get their stock in at the end of the month, like March from Funko. But you gotta imagine how many orders they probably took on, especially like chase bundles and things like that. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to process all that and put stuff together for it to be shipped out. So usually companies take about two, three weeks to get everything ready. But at minimum for pre-orders from smaller shops, you probably have to wait another month or two. Next here, let's move on to all the new announcements today. So firstly here, we do have a brand new Naruto Hidan exclusive. So this is more of a casual Hidan here where he is in his Josh in form. Very similar to the chase, as you can see. Not like an exact action pose, just him kind of standing there but I do think it turned out pretty cool and for those wondering this is him pre Akatsuki before he joined and here's actually an in-person look at that Hidon exclusive which is hitting stores overseas now funny enough I saw a pretty big uproar as to people saying oh my god now the chase is not gonna have any value I do want to let everybody know that that chase didn't really have any value to begin with it is currently sitting on Mercari and eBay for like 35 bucks usually pops these days retail for around $13 
that's only $22 more. So I promise you that Chase isn't really like gonna lose any crazy value. If anything, it might go down five, 10 bucks. Now as to when this exclusive could be dropping, I do believe some stock is preloaded on the Funko website. So we should see it drop there very soon. And then Alliance Entertainment pretty much sells their stock to all kinds of different places. So we could be seeing this one go live on like deep discount, for example. And if it does, I'll post over on Instagram, of course. So make sure to be following me there and on my Twitter. Next here for Yu-Gi-Oh fans, we do have looks at the new Yu-Gi-Oh GX wave. And if you need to pre-order this wave, make sure to check out the links in the description box. Overall, it does look like Funko did a great job designing these. We have Jade and Yuki, Chaz Princeton, Elemental Hero Avian, Elemental Hero Burstinatrix, Ojama Yellow, and Wing Kuribo. I think my favorite out of all of these is probably the Wing Kuribo. I think it just looks kind of adorable. And a couple more we did have was that Harpy Lady with her chase being revealed, which turned out really great. And it does look to be a little metallic. And then we do have a Wing Kuribo Pocket Pop. As usual, Funko is killing it with the Yu-Gi-Oh designs and I can't wait to see the next wave later this year. And if you wanna know what's in that wave, make sure to check out yesterday's video. Hey guys, so I'm actually throwing this part in here because I made this video and then the Hunter Hunter pops leaked out. So I definitely wanted to talk about them today. Now we did have six new Phantom Troop members leak out today and they look really freaking cool. And I do believe the official announcement and pre-orders are expected this Friday. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But let's go over the pops really quickly. So check it out guys. Here's the full new common wave for the Phantom Troop. I'm loving Shizuku there, oh my gosh. Look how big those glasses are on her face. That's so freaking funny and they droop so much. So she's kind of in a running action pose here. She does have the vacuum behind her for those wondering. What's kind of unfortunate is that we only have box glam leaks so far, so we don't have out of box looks, but we'll probably have those in the next day or two. Nonetheless though, I think they really nailed her character and I'm loving how that turned out. I will definitely be picking her up. Next to her, we do have Pakunoda there, which is pretty cool. She's in her suit as well. She does have her gun in hand, which is pretty cool. And next to her is Phaeton there. He also turned out really great. A lot of people are very excited for his pop. And on the bottom row there, we do have Machi there, also in an action pose, which is pretty cool. And I'm loving how her hair color turned out that bright pink. Next to her is Nobunanga there in an action pose getting ready to draw his sword. He's also very detailed and they gave him the high cheekbones there with a kind of like determined look on his face with an eyebrow raised. And then we also have Finks there in the tracksuit and he looks very old in pop form. I'm assuming in the progress of trying to capture his look, he just ended up looking like an old man in the pop. Again, guys, I think they designed these very well and I can't wait to see the out of box looks. Of course, let me know in the comments below out of all the six Phantom Troop members we just got, which ones are your favorite and which ones will you be picking up? A lot of people were actually kind of like, eh, about some of it. Like a lot of people were very excited, but a lot of people felt that the molds were very basic. While I do agree, I still think it's cool that we got kind of like normal poses for them and maybe in the future we'll get some really cool exclusives. But I can kind of understand where a lot of people are feeling like some of these will end up at five below. In my honest opinion, I think Phaeton and Shizuku will probably be the two popular commons there. And then if you don't remember my previous videos, I was talking about the two exclusives that we should be getting on Friday, which do include another Phaeton there in his Pain Packer armor as well as Shalnark there. So another Phantom Troop member, which is pretty cool. So overall, I think it's a great wave. Literally all new characters can't complain there and I'm very excited for this. Next here, we do have a couple new NBA pops. In this lineup, we did have Ja Morant, LeBron James, Clay Thompson, Jalen Brunson, Jalen Brown, and Donovan Mitchell there. And these are also all still available for pre-order if any NBA fans need these. Next for Pop Rocks, we had new Avril Lavigne Funko Pops. This does include a new four inch common as well as an album of Let Go. And the other new thing we had for Pop Rocks was a new Panic at the Disco Brendan Yuri exclusive cover. And this one will be shipping out from Hot Topics website around the middle of April and probably hitting stores around the same time. And it is still available if you do need it. Next here for Star Wars fans, we do have a new Boba Fett comic cover. Now this is the second Boba Fett comic cover. Here's an image of the original one, but let me know which one you guys like better. Moving on for Marvel fans, we did have the new She-Hulk exclusive, Madison. This will be an Entertainment Earth exclusive where she's holding the roses in her purple dress and purple shoes. So basically again, just Madison here, nothing too crazy special with the pop. Let me know in the comments below though, are you guys picking up this exclusive or passing on it? Now the final two pops we have to go over today was actually a little bit of a random teaser announcement from Funko, which was nice for once. And these two pops come from Saltburn here. So personally, I don't really know too much about this and never seen it. So it was a nice little surprise for fans, which was really cool. This was like one of the first things that hasn't just like leaked out in a while 
we basically saw the announcement from Funko officially first. Well guys, that's everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you guys need to pre-order anything new that is available, check out the links down below. But of course, let me know in the comments what you're most excited about out of everything we just talked about. And as always, if you guys have any further questions about anything, drop those comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. With that being said though, I'm gonna end off the video here by saying a big shout out to all the awesome Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and wanna check out the page on the link is down below. We have a page only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure to follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.